What is up and is going on guys, Simsy here and welcome to my first episode of Di Bello Mundi or Di Bello Mundi, however you would like to pronounce it. But uh, nevertheless, we're going to be doing uh, saying a new Let's Play. We're going to be playing as the Egyptians and I just kind of want to talk about that. Uh, basically, Rome 2 is coming out at the start of September and uh, I'm kind of bored of Westeros at the moment. I, I've played a lot of it <laughs> to be over the past six months or so and I usually have another Let's Play running. Uh, such as like Third Age or Roma Strictum 2. So um, I thought about starting a new Third Age, but to, to be honest, there's only 25 or so days until Rome 2 comes out. And I wanted a Let's Play that I can fit into that time and uh, could be Rome Total War themed. And lo and behold, Di Bello Mundi is out. Now, basically, I'm going to be playing as the Egyptian. So this is, this is going to be up basically the uploads from now until Rome 2 comes out. So as soon as Rome 2 comes out, I'm going to be uploading Rome 2, which will which will be a Roman campaign, a Spartan campaign, and I do have a faction vote, which I'll pull, put in the link in the description. It's on my channel. And I think at the moment it's the Iceni, and funnily enough, the Egyptians are, are winning as well. So um, I've, had, I've had a lot of good response. Uh, it seems like an alright mod. So it basically we'll upload this for 25 days, and then we'll end it, because it's kind of perfect. And to be quite honest, I didn't really want to go play, back and play Roma Serectum, because... And I don't really like the Rome to the War interface, or like the hub sort of thing. I don't really, yeah, it's alright, I don't mind it, but I actually prefer Medieval Total War. Uh, it's my favourite game, my favourite Total War game, and it fits right well. So, I could have played as Rome, I didn't really want to do that, seeing that I'm going to be doing a Roman 2 campaign very, you know, like in a month, less than a month. And Mr. Mate's doing one as well. Uh, I do believe, and it's very much in the same boat. I think uh, Cereal, Cerebral Beliefs is doing a Greeks campaign. But I'm going to play the Egyptians. I reckon that'll be kind of fun. Fighting off the Macedonians. So uh, let's get into it. I'm going to be playing on a hard difficulty, hard battle difficulty. So playing on hard, hard. I will be playing on very hard, very hard extreme. But seeing I've only basically played five turns of this mod. I'm not experienced whatsoever. Because I haven't really had time. I just basically want to learn something and record as much as I can. So I would be playing on very hard, very hard, but seeing as I'm pretty inexperienced, I've only played five turns and just one battle in game in the campaign to see if it actually works, the mod works just as fine. So, we will be playing on very hard, very hard. I will see you guys on the campaign map. Okay, welcome to the campaign map, guys. Welcome, Divine Pharaoh. You can read all that if you want, you can pause it, I'll just slowly scroll down. Basically, it's just the blog. Blog? Uh, the... Yeah. Anyway, so here we go. Here are the Egyptians. So, if you guys are wondering why I cut the... I'm going to be cutting um, loading screens in this game. Very much the same as my Rome Total War 2. Uh, sorry. What? Rome Total... Uh, very much the same as my Third Age Total War, I meant to say. I do skip loading screens and battle loading screens and whatnot. Uh, and I'm going to be doing the same in this because the load screens and the t and turn screens in this game are kind of long, they're not as long as like uh, Third Age Total War with the Moz sub mod running because they take fucking ages when you get to like the hundredth turn um, but these guys, this is kind of, it's a kind of a big mod so we'll take that just that little bit longer so basically here we're going through all our settlements, we're going to be building um, sewers which will basically increase our public health and, uh, and then I'm building Odin's, which will increase the happiness and public order. Because at the moment, Egypt is has a really good military, we're really strong military-wise, but our economy is uh, kind of low. Our settlements, see, look at them, they're all like really angry. So we'll recruit, uh, we'll drop the taxes down, and uh, we will build more um, friend, well, supporting. Oh fuck's sake, supporting. Settlements. So I thought this game would be perfect. Um, so 25 days because because uh, I didn't want to start like a third age and get like 25 days into it and then just be like, yeah, well, Rome two's out. I'm just gonna pause it and never back, never get back into it. But uh, yeah, with this game, once Rome two comes out, people won't. To be quite honest, they've they've put it at a good time out this mob because people are looking side to get into the mood for Rome two, and. Uh, but in, but in hindsight, this mod will probably be forgotten because um, no hate to the developers or anything, but Rome 2 will most likely be a better, a better game than this mod. So, um, yeah. So we'll go through here, we're doing all the quick boring stuff because we don't really want to lose <laughs> our economy and rebel too much. I'm also playing on just hard hard. Uh, 
So that's it. Okay, we're recruiting. We're not recruiting here. I'm just going to basically recruit some of these just infantrymen. Nothing really too spectacular because we just want them to keep public order for the time being. We're going to do a save. Um, seeing as I did an Egypt save before. Okay, so let's have a look at the family tree. We have the Pharaoh. He has a brother. Okay. He has a son, which is good, and his son's married. Perfect. We have our... He has a daughter. He has another son and another daughter, which are coming of age very shortly. Okay, so first things first. Basically what the plan is for this campaign is we're going to be taking on the Seleucids. We're going to be uh, taking, trying to take Asia Minor and push the Seleucids out, the, out of the modern day Middle East. If we even get that far in 25 days, which I'd be surprised if we do, so that's basically the plan. If um, we do, I'm only going to be doing one episode a day along with my Westeros Turtle War. And then once, uh, I might as well talk about uploads now at the moment. Once uh, Room 2 comes, that will go back to, uh, this will stop. Westeros will still be going. And three episode three episodes of Room 2 Day. So it's going to be four videos a day. I don't know really how I'm going to manage, but uh, hopefully I'll be able to. So that means Roman, Sparta, and probably Iceni or Egypt, and then Westeros. So, uh. It should be good. I've stockpiled a lot of Westeros, so once I get to Rome 2, I probably won't even be, caught, be recording through half of it. So um, let's get straight right into it. So yeah, basically Asia Minor, Middle East. If we if we get that far, we must we most likely might be starting invading uh, Greece. Okay, so um, let's have a look. We have a really big empire at the moment. So um, I don't think we only get attacked in these settlements here, so we will keep a, uh, a, a rather strong force here just in case because it's one of our further provinces. Um, keep those troops here. We'll move everyone out except these a lot of cavalrymen. We'll move this to, I do believe that's Alexandria, I don't know. Yeah, Alexandria. So, um, uh, down in the south. Um, there's not really too much down in the south. It's kind of interesting how the, the hub's a lot different. Um, who's this guy? Okay. Have we got a general here at Thebes? No, we don't. But we'll move this lot out. Maybe not all of them. Probably should keep him at Thebes because it's a rather uh, a rather larger settlement. Okay. Might need to recruit some more troops down there. And uh, what we uh, what we are gonna leave here? We want to move some troops out, so move them back up to Alexandria as well. I think I think most of the settlements do start with two cavalry units and just the main host, because we want to get an army quick enough so that we can move on uh, these settlements in and around here. So that's what we're doing now. Pretty much rallying up, we'll rally up at Jerusalem. What's our culture, by the way, or our our religion, rather said? I think it's Greek. Yes, Greek. Eastern, yeah. Um, even though we're not actually Greek, but um, that's what it says. We're losing a lot of money. Uh, whoa! So I'm not going to spend too much. Um, no, nah, I think we should keep garrisons of Jerusalem and Sidon high. Um, okay, I think we can divide the fleet. Uh, hang on, we've got ships up here. No, we don't. Put some ships there. Uh, once the public order gets alright, we can ferry some of the troops over. Now, how are we going over in Age of Minor? Ah, independent, independent metropolis. Greek rebels. Okay, that's probably going to be our first battle. We're going to be taking Rhodes. Uh, Rhodes, sorry. Rhodes. That's how I pronounced it. Uh, have we got a general here? No. So we'll take everyone apart from sort of cavalry. Hopefully we don't lose too much uh, money because we're spending so much money on just fielding troops. Um... Well, once we attack Rhodes, we'll be able to sack it and keep the money going. I might as well block the port while we're here. Who owns this settlement? Seleucids. Okay. I think that's really done for... Uh, we can still do some more military, I guess. Gaelic swordsmen. Okay. Might as well build a couple of them. Agents. Let's have a look at agents' words. I love how it's got the, like, uh, the Rome skin. So we have a diplomat here. Maybe we can get trade rights with... The Seleucids for the time being. Accepted. We'll go map for... No, I don't really want... I will demand map information off you. Wow, 1300 for three turns. I'll make a counter offer. I'll give you a payment of... 
say 1500 oh sorry 1500 will give you because I don't reckon a thousand will be enough for two turns no way that will help them feel too much I'm pretty sure once we start attacking them yeah, I don't know um, who else have we got here we have a spy okay we'll move over him here to see have a eye on this settlement Sardis and Pergamos, uh, Perga, I thought it was Pergamont, the faction, but it's Pergamos, the city. Okay. What about other spies? I think that's, um, he's a, he's a murderer. So he's an assassin. We'll move him over here. They look like there's a settlement here. Um, geography, uh, geography-wise, I wouldn't be surprised if it's Damascus or Karak. I don't think, I don't, uh, I'm just thinking of, uh, uh, tch, tch, tch. just normal, uh, sorry, vanilla, uh, medieval turtle war. I don't know if Karak and Damascus are back this time, because I, I don't actually have a very good knowledge of, uh, well, specifically this time period, to be quite honest. So, yeah, uh, I think that's all we really can do this turn. We are besieging Rhodes, so we'll be able to attack that, um... We're moving troops, we're rallying up at Alexandria. And uh, hopefully we'll probably move some troops over to Jerusalem and maybe we might actually start our attack on the Seleucids, maybe attacking Antioch very shortly. So, I'll end the turn here and I'll see you at the top of the next turn. Okay, welcome back to the top of the next turn. We have a candidate for adoption. Not even going to try to pronounce that. But uh, he's only a one-star general, so it's not really a point. It, I really want to keep it in the family at the moment. Take the rebel settlement of Boistra. So it looks like it's over here. So we might be able to, if we get a military, we might be able to move along. Uh-oh, death stalks the land. That's not good. And we got some civil disorder as well. That's Sidon. Okay, where were the other settlements? Okay, so that's just basically... We can repair. Uh, hopefully, we, we, wow, we lose. We lost a lot of money there. But once we start taking settlements, we'll be able to use that money we sacked from them to actually uh, get some more new. Yeah, that was the mission. Faction announcements. New family member. Hetri P. Right. Oh, fuck. I'm so sorry, guys, if I butcher some of these names. I am just horrible at pronouncing, and uh, like terrible, terrible, terrible. Um, let's have a look at the family tree. Ah, the prince had a son. Okay. That's good. That's good. I'm quite happy with that. But we are having some civil disorder, which isn't good. So, um, uh, we are besieging Rhodes. What do they got here? Some militia hoplites, Greek levy phalanx, and javelin men. So we'll, we will play that battle very shortly. I just want to do my unit recruitment. Uh, not recruitment, just movement, so we can start, uh, well, obviously... Moving on to take more lands. Now we are here at Alexandria. Um, okay. I will. What are they? What are better? The phalanx or these guys? Their defense is really high though. So I probably want to move more phalanx in than anything. Uh, we might as well move the faction leader in because he's in his mid 40s. Actually, we'll put the cavalry in there to give him the advantage. He's it, yeah. He's forty-three. He's got enough children to live his name on. He's got a son, and his son's got a son. So, we will move you to this army here. Uh, we'll send you over to about here because I do believe we have a mission to take Boistra. And uh, from the looks of it, it, looks like there's another settlement nearby. So there's no point of it. I, I don't do the. Uh, yes, the Seleucids actually hold, and it is Damascus. So I was very close to being right. Um. They are very under-garrisoned. I think I might need to move some of these troops out of Jerusalem, because Jerusalem seems like it's, well, going all right at the moment. And maybe bring some more troops into Sidon might just quell the riots for the time. But, oh, it's gone back to green. Sidon's not looking too good. We, uh, we will recruit. Yeah, so we'll move the Pharaoh over to take this settlement. We're doing well. Um, do we have more? Yes, we have another army moving up. So we'll move this army up to Alexandria, and uh, once we get some more money when we take Rhodes, we will send that other army over to uh, to over to Jerusalem to see where we're gonna go. Essentially, okay. How's everyone else going? 
Okay, it's only red there. Okay, we will go into the... Okay, it's a 3 to 1 ratio, 800 men to 1,000. I'm going to do a quick save, and without further ado, this is our first battle for Dibelo Mundi. I'll see you guys on the battle map. Okay, welcome to the battle map, guys, and let's get straight and ready to it. Going with the stock standard uh, good old medieval 2 deployment. Uh, we've got our phalanx, we've got our general unit here. It's actually look kind of cool. Um, is that a Roman sigil thing? Okay, maybe not. Let's just not look at that. Uh, we'll get everyone to run because I want to do that. Uh, I might as well keep the spearmen just behind. Uh, just in case if this ram fails. Where have they got most of their units though? Greek, maybe phalanx on these sides. Uh, on that side, okay. We don't mind moving in. Uh, I would normally skip this type of battle. Because we are facing rebels, we're not facing a faction. But seeing it's our first battle, and uh, my second battle of Dibel or Mundi, <laughs> um, it's uh, good. It, it, yeah, it should be alright, even though we're fighting rebels. I kind of think it's a waste of time fighting rebels and showing it, because it's not like a faction. I don't know. Speaking on the topic of time wasting, um, I think it's a good idea to do what I'm doing, skipping loading screens, because even though... Um, it, when you think about it, if you're doing a 20... 30 minute episode uh, every day and there's a couple of loading screens you can actually save like set uh, pro we can, you can actually save quite a bit of just looking at a dull screen not actually playing the game and uh, seeing this is kind of a I don't know speed sort of hot seat a uh, hot seat uh, let's play which is probably only go for I would say roughly 25 episodes whenever uh, Rome 2 actually whenever I release my first Rome 2 video this series will stop which I don't know maybe I don't know, maybe I might pick it up in the future, but we'll just have to see. Um, I fucking love the menu. Oh, Marcus is playing Far Cry 3. Okay, he's not playing uh, Dibilla Mondi as well. Okay, we're actually on the walls now. We can actually go up against these rebel phalanx. So, it should be good. I can't wait till Rome 2 comes out. I'm not, I haven't hit the, like, I'm really, really excited about it. But, uh, like, the, uh, I can't wait for it. I, I, I'm kind of content. Um, but I have seen a little bit, uh, a lot of gameplay and stuff, so it looks fucking great, and I really, yeah, I, I can't wait to get a hand on it, but I'm not, like, overly the top excited. I don't know, I, I, it's kind of weird. I don't usually get excited for much, to be quite honest, like, I don't really, I don't know. Giddy, I think the word is. Okay, we can start speeding it up now. How long to the round? Okay, we got, we can start moving the troops up. Ah, too late. We'll move it, we'll be able to move the phalanx in now. And drop the ram. Move for uh, the town centre. Okay, phalanx. I did put them off spear wall formation, so that should hopefully bring them in a lot quicker. We do have this other unit here. Now I'm just thinking whether or not to put them on the walls because they've only got one unit in there and I think we're probably better off going on the walls. We're gonna drop the ram. Where would it be more needed? How many is on this side? 130. Okay. Well, we'll put this guy to attack them. Um, building captured. Okay, we're moving our phalanx in. We might as well move my general in. There's no reason why not. Uh, even though, guys, these actually says, like, attack uh, as a spear, these, these guys fight with their spears. Um, I should put it on enable fire at will so maybe they can get some javelins off. But um, even if you press this, I don't. I think it just makes them. Oh shit! Probably shouldn't have done that actually. So you don't worry about it. Fuck it. Attack them. Attack them, and these guys can attack them. We're moving in now. We can blow the horn as a general unit. We'll kind of, we'll speed it up now. Uh, we're only just fighting on the walls here. But it would be pretty cool. I I was really uh, when I loaded this up, I was very. Undecided whether or not to play this or an Isani. Uh, Isani, I think I say you pronounce The Britannia, the British uh, faction. That'd be kind of cool. But um, I think this uh, Egyptian will be kind of cool because we've got a real cool mix of like our own type of units and the Greek units. And for some reason in Asia Minor, if you didn't see, we can actually recruit barbarians, which is kind of cool. Something a little bit different. Okay, we're winning a uh, lot. We're doing extremely well here. We killed the enemy general. How are we going? Oh, we've lost 26% to their 50, so that's not too bad. Even though we did push in all our troops, so it's kind of predicted. 
How are we going on the walls? Okay. We're doing well. Do we lose many troops going through the gateway? Yeah, that's my dri That's my hate. <laughs> I always seem to manage uh, losing troops. So basically, I want to run through the uploads one more time on this channel. So basically, for this month, at the moment, I'm uploading my Westeros Total War. I'll be playing through the factions of that probably for a while. Um, I'll be doing this until Room 2 comes out. And I do have a couple of episodes of my SNS Hot Seat uh, with uh, Sol. So uh, you guys should go check it out. That's kind of cool. Uh, I do it with Sol Gaming Inc. I'm doing a Westeros Total War. And basically, I'm he's playing as House Stark, and I'm playing as House Tully. In the first half, we started focusing on killing the Lannisters and all our enemies and Joffrey and all that. And then we went and ended up focusing on... Uh, then we Once all the enemies were gone, we started fighting each other, which has turned out to be a really exciting uh, Let's Play. So if you guys like Westeros, Total War, and Game of Thrones in general, definitely go check that out. And uh, yeah, I reckon you'll be pleasantly surprised. Okay, we've taken out the troops in the town centre. We'll just send our cavalry out to get these remaining fleeing Greek... What the fuck? Um... <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> okay, that was very odd. Okay, that was... What the fuck were those guys floating? Were they my cavalry or what? I don't really know. We're in the battle. We lost 474 troops. We killed 800. That's about, yeah, I'd say that's about half of there. So it's not a too bad result. Uh, I'm going to stop this loading screen, and I'll see you guys back at the top of the turn when we sack the city. Okay, there we go, taking roads. We will sack. Uh, well, that gives us a lot of money. And now we can actually pay for those. Uh, construction buildings. Okay, what does this actually do? Colossus of Rhodes. 15% to happiness. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. We will do some repairs. Um, yeah, I'd be, I'd be surprised if it wasn't anything but Greek. I think we can move this army back onto the mainland. Um, hopefully it doesn't neg neglect it too much. Um, we will, uh, it's still very blue there in that area. Move some cavalry down there for the time being to keep the happiness back up. Uh, I think we can, yeah, we can recruit some more troops. Why the fuck not? Because I think I want to move on, uh, Pergamos before, uh, the Seleucids or any other Greek nations come over. Okay, can we land our, no, we can't land our Pharaoh just as yet. Um, hopefully, I'm going to go back to the construction of those cities. Are we still building... No, we're not there. So we want to build some buildings to help the public order and public health. Okay. In most of them we are, which is good. Except for here. Got another Odin. Just ba I'm building those two because uh, once we get more money I won't have to go back and do this all the time because it's kind of Kind of tedious, to be quite honest. Uh, I don't think we really do need to... Uh, yes, sorry. I thought that was in Rhodes. So, uh, no. Seeing that Rhodes is actually really good at the moment. Okay, I've suddenly got everyone. Um, we do need to find a suitable husband for you. So let's have a look through our generals. Okay, we can't marry any of them. Okay, this guy... Too old, old, no he's 21, that's not too bad, but he's only got one star loyalty, so kind of fuck him. Ah, this guy looks like a suitable person so far, but then there's this guy. He's 21 years old, he's got a better star command. Where are you, sir? It's the guy that took the settlement. Of course. Now where is the princess? Okay, she's all the way over here, which isn't really good. Yeah, we'll adopt you into... We'll marry you off. Seeing she's only a four-hearted... Um... Oh, princess. She's not really that good. So we don't really want her to have broken alliance. We have enough... And we don't really need to broker um, 
an alliance with anyone as of yet because we're the biggest faction in the game and there's no other factions near us except for the uh, Seleucids which we will be attacking. I think there's a couple of so, uh, some African tribes that aren't really too dominant at the moment. And we're only in the second turn. Rome and Carthage aren't a superpower. Macedon and the Spartans and Thracians and all those Greek dudes, the Greek city-states, will be fighting each other. So um, we might as well marry off. And we do have another princess coming of age very shortly, so uh, we'll just have to see with that. Um, I do need to marry off you once we get on. Okay, I'll see you guys at the top of the next turn. Okay, we have a offer from Kaz, the Kushites. Kush. <laughs> God damn it. Kushites. I, I think that's how you pronounce it. But we have a offer for trade rights and map information. Why not accept it? We're uh, one of the main hubs in the east. We might as well. And they're just, that, uh, just down to the south. Of this. So I'll see you guys if another notification pops up for trade rights and map information. Okay, I was right. Uh, we got another one. Might as well. I wouldn't be surprised if it's another South African, not or just African tribe in general. Hey guys, just before I leave you today, I would like to go and please follow me on Twitter. It's the best way to interact with me. If you've got any questions at all, message me on Twitter and I'll reply to absolutely everything. On there you'll be able to see Let's Plays coming up, when I've posted a video, and all that good stuff. So uh, also, if you'd like to subscribe to get all the recent up-to-date content on my channel. So, bye guys.